Good morning, everyone. My name is Utoxin, and welcome back to Utoxin Plays Factorio. Uh, so between episodes, I set up a bunch of sniper turrets down here, repaired the damage that was done. Um, this problem is just going to keep getting worse. Uh, pretty soon they're going to come up and hit this area. Uh, I don't know if they'll ever be interested in that, but I mean, that that's our pollution. So we're, we're reaching out and touching, touching the enemies. Um, but yeah, we're, we're working on it. Um, next year of research will help a lot. Okay, let's see. We were working on getting the carbon monoxide down here. Okay. Carbon monoxide. There we go. Uh, no, that is not the correct recipe. Carbon monoxide. What? Can I not make that one in this? Uh, carbon monoxide. I want to do this, which I should be able to do in an advanced chemical plant, which this is. Was that in there? No. Ah, I think it's this. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's it. Okay. So let's see. Of course, hydrogen goes in that side. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, there we go. There's that. Uh, I need to get a splitter here. I have 40 of them. Um, Okay. Okay, I have no idea. Okay, that's working. Okay, that inserter can feed that plenty fast. Um, I need a clarifier. Um, which I have one of, that gets the water, like so, and then I can get the carbon monoxide out, okay. That'll do right there. No, that that won't do. Um, okay. Let's see. I can come down one more. Okay. Um, there we go. Come down here. Okay. There we go. Making carbon monoxide. Sounds good.
So, now we can come up here. Okay. These can get their coal. Okay. These need stack inserters, if I have them, I do. There we go. Okay. Yep, those are those are nicely cooking. Alright, I need to get a nickel train, which I guess we will bring to right here. Yep. This'll this'll work. Okay. Okay. This can be base nickel ore drop off. Okay, copy that into there. I need 20,000 nickel. Okay, nickel ore. There we are. Uh, negative 20,000, I believe, is what it wants there. Uh, yeah, negative 20. Okay. That goes there. Uh, red cable. Can I make some more? Yeah. Okay. So this goes to here, goes to here, goes to here, goes to here, and then this goes to the chests. Okay, there we go. Oh, but there's already a station that produces nickel ore on the network. Ha ha! It's the same one that the tin is coming from, technically. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, there's that. Then this can come across like so. Um, yeah. This can come across like so. Then this can go like that. And in like so. And this is set to make nickel, okay. Beautiful. So from there, uh, how am I unloading on these? I'm doing that style unload, okay. train's going to get here. All right. So now, induction furnaces. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's not going to fit there. I'm going to move this, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to move this. There comes my nickel. Okay. Um, okay. Yep, yep. All this is coming up. One, 
two, three. There we go. Okay, that goes there. This goes here. Uh, this is making nickel, right, like so. Okay, that goes there. Okay, then you are getting stack inserters, which I think I am out of. Nope, there they are. Okay. That goes there. Okay. I am now making nickel ingots. Good. Okay. There we go. Uh, okay. Are mark ones. I need mark twos. There's mark twos. Okay. Um. Let's put these on top. I think. And we're gonna do like so. So these are going to need to come across to something like there. There we go. Okay. Uh, I need to make more stack inserters, which I can't because I need more iron. Iron is easily solved. There we are. Uh, okay. Make five more stack inserters, which will actually give me just enough for this. One for each of these. Okay. This is complex, but it should result in a good output in the end. Okay. Now, I need power poles. Uh, and there. Okay. Um, I'm going to need more stack inserters, which means I need more basic electronic boards. Oh, I can't wait to have logistics bots. I want to build like a proper mall, uh, but recipes in this are complex enough that I don't really want to do it without logi bots. Um, just because. Um, that needs more iron. Yeah, I have plenty of circuits left over, so let's just go run back over here. Okay. Okay, they're doing that that way. Do I have fast inserters? No, I've, I've now used them all. Um... We'll see how this goes. I think, I think that'll work. Uh, this... Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Um, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not working how I was thinking. I was thinking I had to go molten first. No. We don't go molten first. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is the recipe we're looking at? <laughs> bronze. Molten bronze. We're doing this one. 
copper and tin are the most commonly used, followed by nickel. Okay, so we will do here and here. Tin will come right up through the center. Copper will take the near track and go like this. Uh, I don't know that I have any more. Yeah, I need more iron. Always need more iron. So much iron. Okay. I'm actually going to make a second set of those. Okay. Then this will come down this way. Okay. So then we're going to have, oh, those are facing the wrong way, but that's okay. Okay, this is going to be making bronze with that recipe. Um, you are going to grab from there. You're going to grab from there. You will grab from there. You from there. We'll see if this is enough. Okay, get those out of my inventory. Um, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's... We could use another copper. There we go. Alright, so now I need casting machines, right? Let's double check. Bronze plate is in casting machines, yes. Okay. Do I have any casting machine Mark IIs down here? Yeah. Okay. Um, casting. Okay, I need iron and steel for that and some bricks. Okay. Casting machine, make four of them, that should be enough, I would expect. Okay. This will make bronze plates, quite a few of them, hopefully. Let's see, how many do we need for research? Um, so, yeah, this will make plenty, I imagine, for that. I'm glad they made that a 2x recipe. That's, that's nice. I don't remember if it's that way in vanilla, but I'm glad it's that way here. Okay. Okay, we're going to do like so, um, and like so, uh, then I need to make some pipes, okay. Okay, this can go like so. So, uh, that doesn't really need to 
be there. Yeah. Um, let's just make some more. Okay. So now we need these making bronze. So they're making me one. So I'm making four per second here. Um, and we could easily use more of these machines. Yeah, we could easily use more casting machines. Okay. Um, let's make four more. So we're making eight per second. And see if that's enough. to now be pulling it off. Yeah, still back stuffing. Not quite as bad, but still back stuffing for sure. And that'll put us pretty close, I think. That'll bring us up to 10 per second, which that's that's a good production rate for now. Um, the next thing I'm going to build up here is we're going to start crushing geodes up here uh, and and just storing the gems we get. Because we're, I, I looked through the uses for those geodes and probably getting the gems out of them is the best use of them for our upcoming progression. Um, so, like, if we look at geodes, uh, like the blue geodes we're getting, um, we have, like, two uses for them. We can make the crystal slurry, uh, which uses sulfuric acid and is kind of complex. Or we can just crush them into crystal dust and crushed stone, varying ratios of these depending on which geode. Um, but then the crystal dust can also be used to make crystal slurry. Uh, but you can also just, in an assembler machine, process it down and get various gem ores. Um, and these gem ores are what we're interested in. Um, because, like, diamond ore, for example, the rarest one. We get raw diamonds from that, which we can turn into cut diamonds which we can turn into polished diamonds or pre-artifacts. I don't know what the pre-artifacts are for, haven't looked. But polished diamonds are used in all kinds of really nice, useful stuff. Uh, okay, some more aliens trying to come in there. That's fine. Okay, so these all have like 200 plates back stuffed in them. <laughs> um, yeah. Do I want to go, like, can I make two more? What am I short on? Steel? 
Yeah, let's 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 make two more. Um, casting machine. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need more pipes. Okay, more bronze plates. Oh. <laughs> uh, I had not placed the... There we go. There we go. So now I'm at 12 per second, which is pretty good. That's a little less than half of what this belt can carry, so that's fine. In fact, we'll just go ahead and slow this belt down. Um, I think it's safe to do this. I think these can sufficiently unload. So there we go. Bronze. Um, do I have a warehouse on me? I do. There we go. Uh, do I have any stack inserters? Yes. Okay. There we go. We have a bronze warehouse. Okay, that can clear the belt for sure. All right, well, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, that is a very important step. Uh, it will start using up some of this ore that we have had back stuffing down at our ore processing. Um, yeah, that'll be good. Uh, tin has... Come back for another load. Um, how are we looking here? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that, that will start unloading eventually. Uh, for now, I think we're good. Uh, we've already got over a thousand bronze. So I'm going to end it here. My name is Utoxin. This has been another episode of Utoxin Plays Factorio. And I will see you next time.